this has got to be the nicest day of my 2019 fairest weather I'm uh, extremely excited to go fishing right now as you can imagine but we must remember to be careful in this park of rattlesnakes Annabelle is very concerned extreme rattlesnake danger in this area but yours truly Clayton Simon is not afraid and will fish for your entertainment through the danger regard cougars too extremely active cougar area uh -huh. extreme bear danger as well do not clean fish in lake or stream huh. so the uh, local angler that you can see behind me has caught five largemouth bass today already he says he's uh been fishing for about two hours and he's catching them at approximately 15 to 20 feet out here it gets deep really fast uh, that's extremely promising and exciting oh they're hopping all around the place here yeah saw a bunch of lizards scatter i'll try my favorite thing about this lake is how easy it is to fish on the shores because there's no brush or sticks to navigate through. I'm so excited. Alright, finally, despite some very slow walking, let's get to fishing. We just saw a fish jump over there, which is very exciting. Right, I just saw a fish jump right here, so that's where I'm starting. That guy over there is just hammering them, like I've seen him catch uh, one already and he said he's, he's caught five today. Oh, that is nice water. So you've been here for how long? Oh, about an hour. One hour and you've got like seven now, eh? Six. Six, six, six okay. Yeah. That's incredible. We were in uh, Lake Tahoe earlier today. Oh, earlier today? Yeah, because uh, we're actually from Montreal and we're doing like a little road trip and Canada. trying to do a lot of hiking and fishing. Try those out. Yeah, I'll just grab two. Really sure. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. We'll yeah. try these two as well. Yeah, they look just like worms, eh? Yeah, pumpkin. They call them They're pumpkin. scented too? Uh, they, you know, they put, I don't know if they put jelly on. The trick is out here, if you cast it out, yeah. you just kind of, you let it hit the bottom first, and you just, you barely just pull a little bit, yeah. and you want just to let it sit on the rock. Don't even bounce it, just pull, yeah. and then reel it in, and then just lightly pull, and then you'll feel them bite it. I'm going to try that. From around here? Uh, yeah, I am. I uh, bought a house about two miles from here, about south. Oh, beautiful place. Nice choice. No way. Just pull quick, pull quick. Pull. Like you gotta set the hook. Oh. I don't know if you have one, Annabelle. I think you're stuck. Yeah, you're stuck. Yeah. So what else is there in this lake besides uh, bass? Sturgeon. Oh yeah. Yeah, like the, oh yeah, there we go. Woo! Yes. Oh yeah, a little, little, this is a largemouth, eh? Uh, you know, we have largemouth, but you're going to catch a lot of small. This is a smallie? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's on. Hey, Mr. California Fish. Bye, you A little one pounder probably? Yeah, probably. Awesome. Good old pumpkin seed salamander looking thing. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no worries. Oh yeah? Oh, she got robbed. Oh nice. He's off, eh? 
Yeah, they always just grab the end of the tail, it seems. Got to get them to swallow the whole thing. There we go. Feels a bit bigger. Uh, maybe not. I think he wants to jump. Yes. Oh, that's a good eater. It is, eh? I think he's going to be my dinner. All right, Annabelle, you get the final say. Are we keeping this guy? You have to help me eat him. This this fish here. Sarah, has she gone? Yeah, it's a bit bigger than the last. Yeah, we're gonna. This is gonna be our dinner. Just do boucher? Okay, never mind. He's going back. If we get a smaller one, I'll keep him. Packing it in for the evening. Caught two fish. And uh, definitely hitting the spot early tomorrow. 6.30 a.m. April 17th, 2019. And I'm taking a second crack at... Uh, Lake Shasta today, which is right next to my beautiful campsite. Here's my campsite. And the lake is literally like a two minute walk from this campsite. A lot colder this morning. I think it dropped to like five degrees last night, and now it's uh, it's probably closer to ten. I don't know if that's gonna affect the bite. Oh. Alright, well my GoPro died, my caught caught one nice like one pounder since. So uh, I'm gonna to keep fishing. Alright, so a little status update. 8 a.m. now. And the sun's coming up. It's getting hot really quick. It's supposed to go up to uh, 28 Celsius today. I caught uh, one fish. Using this pumpkin seed salamander looking thing that um, my buddy Zach or Steve, whatever his name was, gave it to me yesterday. Very nice guy. Always a good idea to ask the local anglers what uh, is best to use. He was, he was just catching so many. He caught like six yesterday. I caught two. This is a uh, pretty light rod, a Mitchell Avocet and uh, Mitchell Avocet Reel, 24 ton graphite. And I've got some uh, 15 pound spider wire on it. The trick here is because the bass are nesting, you gotta let the, uh, the bait uh, float to the bottom and just kind of crawl it along. Ah, oh, that was one. They're just gonna attack something going near its nest. Oh, we. Oui. Oui. Oh, she's jealous. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. 
time, so let's go let him go. Where are the arms? Can we get up first? Look at that. There we go, Annabelle's caught her first bass. Hey, you want to hold this and I'll take him off the hook? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You want to hold it? No. You want a pen? No. It's for a Pretty little guy. It's a healthy fish. Nice job. Ooh! <laughs> Look at that. That's it. That was fun, eh? So I only have about 30 minutes of footage left, and uh, I don't know, I might not catch another fish, so I might just give my closing statements now. This has uh, been the favorite day of my trip, i got to say, in Mount Shasta National Park, California. It's just a gorgeous place, beautiful lake, and um, I've caught three bass. They're in about 15 to 20 feet of water, and I've been catching them on a uh, little pumpkin seed salamander that a local angler gave to me.